Hi, cuties. Try to make you sexually aroused by 11-year-olds. And uh, I'll, I'll say it's not bad at it. It's not a total failure in that regard, at least for me. But uh, yeah, as far as like sexy music videos go, um, it's not bad. Children are horny. Little girls are horny. They're pretty hot. Was it rape? Yes, I guess. I don't know. She told me not to and I did it anyway. Am I saying that rape victims want it on some level? Unfortunately, yes. Respect. Mm, rape is human. But all that accomplished was now I feel guilty about my rapey thoughts. I'm trying to get better at it. Share your rape fantasies in the comments. This is Mr. Girl. I'm sure you've heard of him. He's better known as the Pro Cuties Guy due to his, we'll say, positive review of the recently released and highly controversial Netflix movie Cuties, in which a group of 11-year-olds are dreaming of being professional dancers and in doing so learn to twerk. However, the Cuties debacle isn't actually why I want to talk about Mr. Girl. I avoided even really hearing about this entire situation because I saw it as another shock jock looking to get free bad publicity that YouTube thrives on, and had only really seen a video on him from Deadwing Dork and out of curiosity I decided to visit Mr. Girl's channel, sift through some videos to see if he had a history of making these kinds of things to maybe prove this wasn't some sort of troll. When I discovered he had a Patreon. My curiosity spiked to see how much this man was making off of Patreon, especially given his recent status. Unsurprisingly, he's not rolling on stacks of cash with only 8 patrons making about $55 a month. However, his Patreon revealed something far more interesting to me. A video that had been taken down from YouTube about consent and rape. Confused as to why YouTube would take down such a video, especially if it held any similar opinions to his cuties review, but what I heard was a little worse. Several quotes I hadn't heard mentioned from any of my follow-up videos watching people mock Mr. Girl. While in his cuties video he mentions how he was attracted to children and uh enjoyed the movie a lot, I'd have to say an admission to other heinous crimes would be a little more incriminating. While not condoning his views or opinions on cuties or children, by any means and personally believe far, far more harsh punishments should be given to pedophiles, admiring a horrible and exploitative movie is different than actively participating in other malicious acts. So, in this now removed video from YouTube, Mr. Girl tells a story about a sexual encounter he had with a woman, an adult woman, I should clarify, in which she sat on top of him, naked, saying she wasn't ready yet, but he claims she gave him a look, daring him to do it, before grabbing her shoulders and pushing himself upon her, in which he admits was rape. It's like right at, at her vagina, and I'm like, alright, let's do this. She holds perfectly still and says, I'm not ready. Clear as day. No mistaking her mm -hmm. meaning. She doesn't consent. But she has this look in her eye. Like she's daring me to just push it in. Like I'm some kind of pussy if I don't. I could have been imagining that. But I grabbed her shoulders and pushed her down onto my dick. Did she like that I did that? I think so. She probably had mixed feelings about it. Was it rape? Yes. I guess. I don't know. She told me not to and I did it anyway. Now, given the situation and them apparently continuing to see each other after this encounter, you could agree it was more of a taboo foreplay, but at least through his own account, it was bad. And even so, still not being the dumbest thing he said this video. Some part of you wants to fuck everyone. See, with sex, there's a track in your mind that already exists. A path to yes. Am I saying that rape victims want it on some level? Unfortunately, yes. Yeah, he says everybody wants sex, so due to a certain degree, even rape victims wanted it. Pleasant. To top things off, the cuties controversy isn't the only thing he's been caught up in. He was arrested in 2008 after speaking out about how Everybody has violent thoughts, and we pretend that we don't and only lie to ourselves, and he's been angry enough at his university to kill some people. To his class, the day after the Virginia Tech shooting had just occurred. 
and after which he posted a suicide note on his school newsletter claiming he had ingested rat poison and would be dead by 2 p.m. The newsletter, The Yeti, he would also post stories about how the female orgasm isn't real, and if Asians want war, but looking further into this guy, I learned something about him. What we do here is go back, 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 back. However, the main reason I don't talk about these topics is because you people are being played like a goddamn fiddle! Seriously, am I the one breaking the news to you? Do you honestly think these channels are talking about these people actually care about what's being done? The dude's like two years older than me and he's just making videos for shits and giggles. Well, he used to. Now he's gone down a darker path, but only because you people enable him. Ask yourself, do you really think these YouTubers do dumb controversial stuff just because it fits their personality? No! It's because doing something offensive garners tons of attention, which means tons of views, which means tons of money. You think Logan Paul would film some dead guy and post it online? People weren't going to make him bank talking about it? No! That's right. Fuck your GTA memes, we're going Tropic Thunder in here. Here we go again. Again. Now, I'm not going to say this man is mentally sound. I question his motives, and I would keep an eye on him if I knew him personally. But this is what he does. He makes sensationalist posts that stir drama, get attention about topics he wants to discuss. Like how the real pedos are claiming the cuties video is supposed to be. He's been doing this since at least 2006, and according to this website, maybe even earlier. This guy is either a villain, straight out of a Bond movie, or he wants you to talk about him. He wants you to hate him. He wants you to respond to him. And look what you did. Hundreds of channels, millions of views, with tens of thousands of comments all hating him, calling him out, talking about him. Look at his smug look. Look how he's comedically going over the top as possible. It's pretty interesting to be forced to do something. It's kind of like The Last of Us too. It's a great game. Oh yeah, them kids are hot. It got me aroused. They're pretty hot. And what does he do in response to all the hate? He kept making videos. He kept the video itself up. He got people talking about him and the movie, which means he probably hates it just as much as you do. People who know him claim he counter-argues with people by being an over-the-top representation of the things he hates. Does that sound familiar? Now, don't get me wrong, something's up with him, and I wouldn't trust him for a second. But do I think he's a pedo? Does he hate Asians? And does he think God hates women? Mm -mm, I doubt it. But he's definitely a sketchy-ass dude. But whatever's up with him, you're all playing into his games. So the next time somebody on YouTube gets everyone on a bandwagon hating them, please do your own research. Then take a tip from Mr. Paul Anka. To stop those monsters, one, two, three. Here's a fresh new way that's trouble free. It's got Paul Anka's guarantee. Guarantee void in Tennessee. Just don't look, just don't look. This literally took me clicking one of the two things in his description to find out. And no video talking about it? Anyway, just the short video mocking a lot of the reaction-based channels for never listening to me, always jumping on trends for views and never looking further than skin deep. I don't hate trends, nor am I some sort of hipster who's too cool for them. I just see the more obvious ones as annoying. Anyway. Hopefully I got some people to change the way they view videos. For any fans or possibly any new people from this video, I do have another one in the middle of making. On another unsightly spread going on with YouTube. Ads starting with the letter R. Stick around to know more. Just don't look, just don't 